you know, uh, when, when you look at what, what's happening in the U.S. and you compare it to what's happening in Europe, there are actually so many similarities. We should point out that, Elizabeth, you, you are Mrs. Kucinich, you, you are Dennis's wife, and weighing in today on the British vote. Indeed, I'm a, I'm a British voter and uh, very hopeful that Britain will remain in the EU and, uh, you know, a little bit nervous at this. Why are you nervous? I think the vote's going to be very, very close and um, there's clearly a generational divide in the UK. Uh, we uh, emotionally as a people still suffer the effects of the first, uh, sorry, the Second World War and really uh, our older generations uh, are, are carrying that culture forward a little. Um, we are, you know, an international part of the international community, and I hope that that's the way it will stay. But there's a lot of sentiment that is uh, being driven in the UK to push maybe in a different direction. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Kucinich, James Freeman here at the Wall Street Journal, uh, wondering whether you see a problem with the a bureaucracy the size of the EU's, the uh, the drag this uh, creates on commerce. Do, are you concerned about? Uh, the ability of, of the EU and Britain as part of it to grow in the future, obviously very slow growth in uh, recent uh, years. I think that we have to take a really long-term view here and look at how the international community has come together. One uh, economic block is one way to look at it, but it's also a community of nations. When we look at the United States as a collective of individual states, um, in a way, the, the EU is something similar, though we have sovereign states as part of that. I think there's a way that um, the countries can play very much independently within that system, but also together. And we have to see how peace has been possible, how countries are working together, how we are an effective economic bloc. And also, with regards to the questions of regulations and with, with really looking at the way that uh, we as a, as a European continent move forward, you know, Britain, it's very good for us to be at the table. And one of my uh, favorite comedians is Eddie Izzard. And many years ago, he did right. a, a, a little skit, which was uh, really sort of joking about the mentality of the British people in the way that, you know, the EU is inside a car and there's, there's, a, there's Britain as a, as a nation standing at the traffic light washing the windshield. And we need to make sure that we're really at the table and we can drive an agenda. And certainly, you know, Cameron and others are putting the pressure on to say, uh, let's be there, let's be at the table and let's see how we can really negotiate for Britain. It's a great analysis. Congressman, Mrs. Kucinich, thank you so much for weighing in. Appreciate your time this morning. We will see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.